Yo, what is going on you guys? Dusky Racing here and in today's video I'm gonna be kind of going through I yes, I am muddy. Don't worry about that. I'm kind of dirty all over So anyways in today's video we're gonna be going through my race bike here, so <laughs> I've already done most of the things I just I did most things I cleaned the my front fender everything and I took off my bars because I'm putting on new ones because I kind of bent them the last race which kind of sucked but yeah so anyways what we're doing right now is um a little tip this is how I clean up my frame it doesn't really give it the shiniest look because it takes like the clear coat off it'd be best to probably buff it afterwards but I don't have a buffer so I can't really do that but so I use scotch brake pads i use um these which they are like i use these for rust too on like nails and shit uh, but i use this first and then i go over it afterwards because these are non-scratch and it kind of cleans it up a little bit more these are not these are non-scratch these are not really meant for it but i'm using them for that cause and it actually works very well and I'll show you guys. Pretty much, my frame had spots on it. And what I do is I take shop rag and kind of just wipe, wipe it down afterwards. But you get like, so this, anyways, look at this. This is this side. This is basically done. And then you go to this side. This side's really, really bad. I don't know if you can see the lighting, but there's, um, there's a bunch of like spots on it that I can't really explain it, but I can't get it off. And so what I do is I take the green scotch, right? It does leave scratch marks, just so you guys know, but that's why I go over it with the blue. So aluminum is very easy to scratch up and a very easy to take away so this isn't really necessarily the best thing to do for your aluminum frame but this is my tactic my method and it ends up working out every single time i do it and i do it after every ride because you know it works i don't necessarily know if this is the best method or to keep your aluminum frame in good shape but it definitely keeps my, my bike looking really clean and you can even use it on like your foot peg and just anything that anything that needs cleaning up I even use it on my swing arm a little bit sometimes now leave in the comment section below if you guys think this is semi bad for your aluminum stuff I mean it only just scratches the surface and it takes off it mainly just takes off the clear coat, the initial clear coat that you have. I even do it underneath the frame where my skid plate goes because I just like keeping this clean and it gets all the extra mud and stuff that I can't necessarily blow off of the power washer. And then what I do is I take this non-scratch and, and I go over it. Frame or really anything else. Most importantly, this this gets scuffed up and this gets black and stuff. And literally, you can change that in seconds. Anyways, guys. We're gonna clean myself a little bit up because I'm gonna have to go to Lane's Yamaha probably and get myself a new set of bars. And let's go. But I've accumulated ever since I bought my bike. This is actually the stock. Okay. I need someone to tell me if there's a way that I cannot like, just keep losing this on the 2019 FX's. All right, so we're also gonna do something else. You guys see this? This screw somehow bent a while ago. This is for the kill switch. So what I'm gonna do is, so I have one bike, two bikes, three bikes. So I have three bikes. Um, I'm not using that one currently, so why not just 
you know, take a little, take some time and just be like, screw it. And so I think, because I can't find, I literally couldn't order one online for this. And I think that's exactly it. Or, um, or for that, like, too. So we're going to try that out. And then what I'll do is I'll take that because it still works and just put it back in there and it'll be perfectly fine because I'd rather have a straight screw. So we got this screw. It is it is kind of rounded off too, um, but it bent. So kind of got to do something. Take these off. All right, so let's take that off. Try this one out. This one seems to be more promising. Uh, as long as the threads match up. So it's the next morning. I actually ended up finishing my bike. I just didn't record it. And i um, sitting here looking at scoring and uh, just checking out my lap times compared to other lap times, like B, C, and stuff like that. For the last race, I had struggled, but. Uh, we're gonna be hopefully doing a little bit better last race. I mean, here's a little recap of last race. I ended up um, second in points, third at the race because there was a um, day rider that just completely blew everybody away. I didn't, I didn't ride my best. I didn't really, I pushed myself, but I didn't really push myself enough. So. I didn't really necessarily ride at my uh, peak performance. I was really tired and I wasn't ready for a mud race, which understandable. First race back from Twisted Fence a year ago, so it was a little rough for me, but I got out there and I got three laps in. And I can't say anything better. I basically almost came back first lap. I uh, got the whole shot and then uh, went in the woods and the day rider was gone. He, I couldn't even catch him. He, he got four laps. I got three. I got third place. Got second in points because the day rider. And um, what happened was is uh, this, the first lap I came through two minutes behind. And then the second lap I came through and I was a minute and 30 seconds behind. So I was gaining time on Benjamin Miller. Um, he took first and point second uh, at the race. And uh, the last lap, I ended up getting that down to 19 seconds. Now, I ended up making a very bad mistake the last lap. There, when you come out of the woods, there was this basically this piece of wood or pallet, whatever you want to call it, and it was really slippery. So I came out and I uh, didn't even tap the gas. So I was just trying to keep my bike straight. I was rolling it through it, and I ended up like fully launching right off my bike. Um, face planted. Oh, actually, almost broke my visor. I didn't get any GoPro of the third lap, but I will have some GoPro up if you guys are interested in that. I might have GoPro up sometime this week or something. But, um, I ended up face planting. It took me about a minute or so to get up, but. With that being said, if I stopped making my mistakes, I probably would have took first with points second uh, place. Which it was a really rough drag, though, so I mean, you can't really blame me, but definitely need to improve a little bit with everything, but I think I got it in the bag maybe this weekend. We'll see. I mean, I'm not. Not saying I'm gonna win, but I'm gonna go for it because I mean I don't think I think I I'm gonna keep my bike up straight this time. Make sure my bike's prime again. And uh, I'm having a little bit of issues with it starting, but installing a lot, which pretty sure it's. Clutch. 
ish. Uh, I talked to Lane, so they're actually gonna tune my bike. I couldn't get it in. Uh, I, I just got busy, so I couldn't really get it in for them to tune my bike, but I'm gonna end up getting that in uh, after July 12th because we have a two week break. I'm gonna just rock with my bike from here on out and uh, see how it goes, but I plan on taking the whole shot every single race and probably will. My bike starts right up, second gear start and take off and boom. I just want to say that uh, thanks for the support though. Uh, whoever does support me, you know, go ahead and follow my social media. You know, you got Instagram, Dusky Race, and you got my Snapchat if you want to follow me on there. I post some stuff uh, on there pretty damn I got a private story of um, my racing, so post shit on there. Catch you guys later.